Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market prep video for August 31st, 2020. So we ended last week on a bullish note, bulls pushing up in the diamonds, a new record set in the SPY and the NASDAQ. As a matter of fact, diamonds has wiped out the um, losses uh, for the year um in or or the sell-off um overall so we have a tremendous amount of bullishness going on but we also have some considerations that we need to be thinking about for the week ahead so how about we grab ourselves something to drink settle in buckle up and get ready for the monday edition of the morning market prep video so this morning, as we head into our very last trading day of August, we have to acknowledge that this has been a tremendous run in the market, a tremendous move. As a matter of fact, one of the strongest moves, well, the strongest move in the Dow on an August since 1986. And we're up here testing resistance levels in the Dow. Now this morning we have a few changes to keep in mind. We've got three new companies trading here in the Dow. Um, how that might change the way the Dow performs, I can't tell you. We'll have to watch that closely. But we've got three new companies and we have Apple in the Dow that is going to be trading with new shares this morning. How the market responds to that, I can't tell you. So this is a split adjusted chart. As you can see, as um, Apple um, goes through a 441 split, and you can see back down here at a $125 price level, making it more accessible to far more people in the market. Now, how that affects the overall index, I can't tell you, but I will tell you Apple goes from like the number one weighted company in the Dow and slipped down that scale tremendously with that split. So how that actually translates to the performance of the Dow, I can't tell you. But what we have to look at here in the Dow is that we are very, very bullish there is no sign in this chart just yet of any pullback the bulls are definitely in control one thing i will suggest is that we are a bit stretched as a matter of fact if we look at our moving averages we are a long ways from our moving averages here in the chart so one of the things we do have to consider and we have to remember it's it's very easy when we see this kind of rampant bullishness to become complacent and over trade just remember at some point in time those bears will come back into the market and there will be a pullback and one of the things i want to point out if i go to the dow here um, just a pullback to this support level in the chart would be a rather painful pullback for the market considering um, that would be a drop of nearly 700 points, 650 points. So just keep that in mind that we are a bit stretched to the upside, although there is no bearishness showing in these charts. We do want to remain um, uncomplacent and remember that chasing a market this extended can turn into uh, well, can be problematic. Um, you can end up giving back a lot of your gains if we overtrade a market like this. Let's take a look at the SPY. SPY also very, very bullish. New record highs on Friday. No signs in this chart whatsoever of a pullback. Um, at least at this point, bulls remain in control. As a matter of fact, we're looking for a little bit of push up yet this morning, possibly even new records being set um, right at the open. But let's keep in mind that a pullback in here would not be out of the question. After breaking through a major resistance area in the chart, it's not out of the question to consider the possibility of a pullback. Now, what could bring that on? I don't know. Um, I, I really don't, um, don't know. But one thing you do want to consider is we are... Um, heading into a three-day weekend. Remember, Labor Day 
is next Monday, and after such a tremendous performance in the market, it really wouldn't be all that odd to see a little bit of selling, a little bit of profit taking, a little bit of pullback as we head into that three day weekend. Um, and I suspect there's going to be a lot of folks heading out early to um, enjoy that weekend. As a matter of fact, um, um, right way options there will not be videos um, this Thursday or Friday as I myself am finally going to take some time off so Thursday and Friday I will be gone um, taking some time off so there will not be videos on those two days so keep that in mind if you're looking for those and I apologize but it's been a very long time since I've taken some vacation time and um, after such a tremendous month it seems like a good time to do that let's take a look at the cues qqq very very strong absolutely no bears here in this chart at the moment but i will point out the fact that we have been up one two three four five six seven straight days in a row trying to push up this morning i don't know how the apple and tesla um, uh, splits are going to affect this today but let's just keep in mind that we are quite extended and a pullback into here would not be out of the question it really wouldn't hurt anything in the chart but it might be a little painful if you're over trading this market so remember um don't let greed prevent you from taking some profits if you have some nice profits in you in your account don't let greed prevent you from taking that and be careful not to over trade a market that is stretched very very high particularly as we head into a three-day weekend let's take a look at iwm iwm also whoops also held up really well on friday pushing back up but this hasn't been nearly as impressive as the rest of the indexes. And so we'll want to kind of keep in mind that IWM may be the weakest of the bunch. And we'll want to watch that closely. I'm still locked in this consolidation move. There's no bears in here. You can see they don't want to sell. But we haven't been able to push on through here yet either. So let's watch that closely. If IWM were to drift down here, it may be a little bit of an early warning of sellers coming in. However, if it can break out, if it can break out up here, it could also be that sign that the market wants to continue to push higher. Let's take a look at the VIX. Now the VIX still remains quite perplexing, even though we're setting new record highs, we just can't seem to break down below this gap up that started this entire mess as the pandemic came in we can't seem to break down through there and that happens to be holding right there at a 500 day moving average we just can't quite do it now we did rally up and test that 50 day moving average that has crossed down through the 200 and so far we have failed at that level that is a good sign technically but we'll want to watch this pretty closely seems to me as we continue to set new record highs in the market we shouldn't be this elevated in in this chart so let's watch that careful let's remember we broke that downtrend and this could be a test of that support if those bears do start showing up some profit taking coming in we could bounce up off of there and that's where some real selling could come in so watch that carefully also we need to take a look at t2101 which is the absolute market breadth of the market and let's realize that as we are rising and setting new record highs in the market the overall market breadth has not been performing all that well which means more and more stocks are kind of sliding sideways or pulling back as the market rallies and we've got some issues here um, a, a major divergence um, in our market breadth and the overall market so not not necessarily an indication that selling comes in immediately but just one of those things that we want to keep in the back of our mind and remember that the bears haven't gone away forever they can and will show back up at some point in time and we should remain um, respectful of those and watching uh, for that return that could come at any time let's take a look at um, 
T2122, which is a four-week new high, new low ratio. Now, the good news is in T2122 is we, we have pushed up here toward that bearish reversal zone, but we still have room to, for the upside. And we're getting a little bit of a push this morning. The, the bullishness seems to have pulled back just slightly um, as the morning go, has gone on. But let's watch that closely as we continue to push up here into that bearish reversal zone. Just keeping in mind that the bullishness might ebb just a little bit um, heading into that three-day weekend, remembering that we have a record-setting August and uh, maybe finishing it out strong but don't be too surprised if we see a little bit of profit taking start to come in let's take a look at our economic calendar for today and our economic calendar really doesn't have a whole lot going on here today we'll want to keep an eye on it as the week progresses but as you can see today not much going on here we have a dallas fed manufacturing survey not likely to move the market at all and we have a fed speaker here at 9 a.m eastern but other than that not much here however we kick off september with some big reports and the biggest being that ism report we've got pmi manufacturing and construction spending and as you can see adp um, beige book we've got an awful lot of stuff picking up in here um, this week so we'll want to keep um keep uh, our eyes focused here on the market just realizing we've got some big stuff coming um, in the calendar this week and after his, an historic August um, who knows maybe we can continue pushing higher or maybe we run into a little bit of profit taking um, um, so just watch that close let's take a look and our earnings calendar today now our earnings calendar quite light um, overall um, with just 12 companies reporting um, there are a couple notables however to pay attention to probably the most notable is going to be zoom mobile they're going to report today so let's keep an eye on that we also have ba whoops I think I typed a wrong symbol. Nope, there it is. BAM, um, um, a financial service here. I'm going to report. Notice that this is holding in a nice little consolidation pattern. So we'll want to watch that if um, that comes out. And the only other thing I could come up with was SCSC is maybe a somewhat notable that's going to report today also in a consolidation pattern. So watch that closely so with that everyone hey how about we take a look at some stocks that could be setting up but before we do that if you guys could do me a favor if you could please click that subscribe button on youtube if this is the first time you've seen these videos and not a subscriber yet and also if you could click that bell icon when it pops up so that you'll be notified every time i post a new video and i want to say thanks to everyone who takes the, the time to click those thumbs up buttons and leave a brief comment helps the channel continue to grow and I truly truly appreciate it um, this weekend over 14,500 subscribers you guys are amazing thank you very much I never in my wildest dreams could have imagined um, that many people would be interested in this content so thank you so much and I got to tell you it is this preparation for the day that has helped me be, an, be able to um, produce a full cut time income from the market for more than 15 years now so if you if you guys do um, feel that this is helpful please do me a favor and feel free to share this video on any of your social media platforms um, to spread it to more folks because if they um, are looking for some good content um, as they prepare for their day you can share that information with them as well so thank you everyone who does take that time let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up remember that each one of these stocks that i show you is not a recommendation to buy or sell that security you have to do your own due diligence and remember that um, everyone has to focus on um, the price action of these charts and make sure that these trades fit you personally let's take a look at yum brands yum brands has been looking pretty decent 
rallying up here in this chart. Now, one thing I do have to say is that we're going to be struggling maybe with a little bit of price resistance in this chart, but this is a nice little rising wedge and it had a good performance here on Friday, that possibility that that could push on through. You can see uh, the drawings I have here on the chart. I've been kind of focused in on the fact that we broke the overall downtrend in the chart. So as we break that downtrend and prove to hold it as support, I'm looking for some upside opportunity in Yum Brands. Obviously, we have some resistance yet to deal with, but keep an eye on that chart. It's starting to perk up and look pretty good. Take a look at AMD. I've been watching AMD and I've been um, I've set an alert across this level right here. Now, certainly tech has been a major, major performance or performer in the market. And I honestly am a bit worried that this big rally in here may still need uh, time to consolidate or pull back, maybe come all the way out to this trend. But I want to keep an eye on AMD just in case it has that energy right in here on this little wedge pattern that you can see I've got drawn on that possibility that it could push out right now and maybe extend up here toward that 100 level in the chart. But don't be too surprised if this needs a little bit more time to just kind of rest or consolidate over here toward the trend. Let's keep an eye on restoration hardware. This thing has been really, really strong, performing quite well. And as you can see, just grinding itself higher here. When you see a stock that continues to grind, this is what we call a T-line runner. Um, if I move uh, to this chart, this this is eight exponential moving average. Um, we call the T-line, the trigger line. Um, and we call this a T-line run. And you can see there's just tremendous performance as this continues to run and run and run and run and ride that T-line. Where this stops, I don't know, but let's keep a close eye on our restoration hardware showing lots of strength. And as housing um, stays strong, remodeling, people investing in their homes, being home during the coronavirus, this certainly can continue to move in that direction. Let's take a look at Costco. Costco's had a great performance here lately, popping through some um, resistance here as we push up there for those highs and continuing to show lots and lots of strength here in the market continuing to rise now i wouldn't be all that surprised on this move up here to see a little bit of consolidation or rest coming into play on that chart but costco has held up very very well it's one of those folk places that folks really like to shop to stock up um, uh, for um, you know coronavirus concerns and so let's watch that closely keep an eye on Costco also keeping um, a close eye on quite a few stocks here KLAK or KLAC has been holding up quite well notice that we popped through some resistance pulled back down into that consolidation but we really don't have any sellers here yet so this still has that opportunity after a little bit more consolidation to push on up and you can see we had a a little bit of bullishness on Friday. Let's see if that maybe can translate into a follow through to the upside. Keeping an eye on Mosaic. Mosaic is very, very strong, holding up quite well after breaking through a fairly significant level of price resistance in the chart, holding up in here and trying to push on through. Now this could still wander a few more days in here before it moves over to trend. And honestly, I don't know if this trend is starting here or if we got to flatten out. We've got to wait for a little bit more follow through on that, but I'm watching this closely. Mosaic looking pretty decent um, as of the close on Friday. Now Kroger, I've been keeping an eye on Kroger. This has been an incredibly volatile stock. We pushed up here into these resistance highs and it looked like we were going to consolidate and hold up here and push on through. But then we got that, those sellers coming in here on Friday. Um, we don't have any decision here yet. We're still holding on to this overall trend. Let's keep an eye on this to see if Kroger can hold that support and still move on higher. Of course, if it fails that trend and fails any rally back for a lower high, Kroger could become that short. So let's keep an eye on this. This could go either direction. Worth keeping an eye on. STZ, 
STZ Constellation Brands. Um, obviously, um, Americans aren't going to stop buying uh, their beverages. And as, and as you can see here, very, very strong in this chart, holding up against this resistance. Now, I don't know whether or not it's going to have the energy to push on through, but this is a pretty decent dividend payer and one of those stocks that we'll want to keep an eye on. Even if the market fails or pulls back, this could be an important one if it can break that downtrend and then hold as support. So keep an eye on STZ. It might be worth keeping um, your eyes on. Let's take a look at FCX. Um, I actually hold FCX, so I'm a little bit biased on this. Got a nice profit going in this chart. Keep a close eye on this. I think there's that opportunity. We could move up here, test this next level of resistance. Um, copper has a good story right now, considering how strong, how housing is and being an industrial metal one of those that can continue to fire up and we should also keep in mind that gold tried to break this not tried to but it did break this little wedge or pennant type pattern here broke that uh, downtrend in the chart gold perking up a little bit on Friday let's keep an eye on that as we continue to devalue our currency with so much money printing um, gold certainly has that opportunity to move higher as does silver so watch those closely so with that everyone hey I want to wish you all a fantastic day I want to wish you great profits in your trading thank you so much for watching everyone take care of yourselves be safe and have an awesome, awesome day. Talk to you all bright and early Tuesday morning.